Yerp. Hoes the most. Find a Nemo, aka I need more hoes. Gym class, knee, grow, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode 37. Let's get it. Let's get it. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. Boy, that boy John Alcazar did. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. So no, nobody knows that this nigga John is using Jim, using Milton as his last name, a cop, a federal agent. And nobody noticed that. Okay. I respect it. It makes no sense, but uh, we rock with it. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? This is the spot just up ahead. Okay. All right. Ooh, slow it down. Slow it down. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Okay. Across the tools for Neils. Neils, Nails, Neils. Neils, Nails, Neils. All right. It's a female? Oh, no, it's a dude. <laughs> Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. Okay. No, I'm playing. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, <clears throat> Nails? Okay. Boy, what the fuck? That's all he says, okay? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, <laughs> let's get moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny guy. All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I could. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Everyone find some cover! 
Damn! Right in his, right in his motherfucking chest. Let's get it. Where my gun at? Let's get it. These Native Americans. These Native Americans. Why we get to our Native Americans? Oh, they probably think we on their land and shit. We probably are on their land. We probably are on their land. I say bless you. The oh, fuck? That's a good one. Where my bow and arrow at? Where my bow and arrow? Oh, I don't have it on me. Headshot. 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 Ooh. Come on. Let's get it. What you? Okay, get me. I'm missing. Let's get it. They're pulling back. Come on, wagon. Lay it down. Lay it down. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wade. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Come on. Help. Help me. I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Ah, miss. Lay it down. Lay it down. Oh, you in a tree? Tarzan ass nigga. You man. Come on. You man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We gotta get the way. They climbed up in the tree. What? Ooh. Get your ass. Get your ass down. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Come on, where you at? Let's get it. Come on. Ooh. Come on. We've come the right way. Ooh. Ooh. We gotta clear this, fellas. Oh, look at my aim. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go. I said, I'm get it. He's charging. Dead. I'm coming. Come on. Come on. We gotta be Lay it down. Where are they coming from? Lay it down. Yeah, these are. I think. I think they think. I think they think. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Lay it down. Headshot. Keep going. Come on. Where's Wayne? Is he dead? Mr. Wayne! Where we at? Charles, I found the tools. Where he at though? Now where's Mr. Oh. Shit. Right. Damn. RP Mr. Wayne. Jesus. Oh, some fucking tools, bro. We gotta move fast. Come on. I see why he was nervous. Let's get it. Ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. <laughs> Did he? Skinner? Everyone knows. <laughs> Except me! Later, John. You all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody. Mr. Wayne! 
Dear Lord, no. Yeah. He's dead. Come on. Come on. Help me. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get it. Damn. The Skinners. Those are. The, I was playing. I was playing off camera. And those same dudes jumped my ass. Like six of them. He gonna ride with him? They gonna ride okay. him like that? John, I'm riding with you. What? The, why you riding with him? Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Say you said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. Mm. I okay, never mind. This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. We gangsters. Uncle! We gangsters. Uncle! Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Hmm. It was a service. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. We should get on with this. <clears throat> Lift. Harry, you could I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. It's hot as hell too. Hell no. And and my girl left me. You think I'm gonna build my house because for a girl that may come back? Man, fuck you. I'd rather be a gangster. Back in these days, hell yeah, man, fuck out of here. 
be at all losses the day that I die. If she come back, she come back. From the looks of it, she ain't coming back. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. It's that shit, ain't I'll it? I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. It's that shit. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather. Hammer. We're together. That looks good. Look at this, look at, look at him. Look at the, I'm looking at the dad bar going on. Fucking good. <clears throat> and I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston. You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. Boy. And you, Charles. As long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen. To that this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard. I know you to be are something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort Who is to that? impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, who is that? Come back to me. Yours always, John. See, man, he trying, man. He's trying. You can't, you cannot be mad at man for trying. He's trying his hardest. He in debt. He own. He he owes the bank, 
the bank owns him and his land. That boy trying, man. He is trying. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just <laughs> once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think <laughs> this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Stop being a boomer, John. Get with the times, bro. Man, I never was that fast. You fat. That's why. Don't blame the age. In the black water. Let's go. Let's get it. I see y'all there. Comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Yet. Put the yet behind that. And how are we? Oh, shit, he's screaming. Emily. Emily. I'm sorry, I thought, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Drugs. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help, oh, sir. Oh my You've God. You've been a good customer, and I like you. <clears throat> David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? I agree. Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> yes, it hey. is. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> Hell well, no. It's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Let's get it. Good. Bow. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Go, go sit your dying ass down somewhere. The bank, there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. <clears throat> Sadie, Sadie, what the fuck is going on? What the? Easy there. Why did she just? Hey, so who is this bounty? Why did she just shoot the dude in the face? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Huh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. This is Painted Sky up here. All right. It's quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Something to go down. It's gonna go down. I'm already knowing something to go down. I'll take the main house. Oh, Start the barn. Get him. Start the barn. Start the barn. Get the guns out. 
Whoa, 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 it's like a rapist. Come on, let's get it. Ooh. This Ramon? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Damn. She gangster. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Let rot. Where my head at, man? We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Yeah. Uh, uh, I hurt. I bet it did. Morning. Gold, my men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. <clears throat> Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Remember this place? Damn, man. RP Arthur. All these damn memories coming back. What can I do for you? This place still gives me the creeps. Oh yeah, this is where they this is where they kicked the Irish dude. Yeah. Get your horse up here. Why the fucking dog is following me? Just get on the fuck on, skedaddle. Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Why well, I gotta do the, all, the, all the heavy lifting? You, you the man. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two <laughs> hundred. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? <clears throat> well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad <clears throat> old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm finna go down. I'm already known. His boy's finna come. I'm finna blow that bitch up. Something go down, man. The chef, the sheriff, living at in a in the police department. Well, the police house. Here it is. I already know it. I already knew it. I'm ready. Roll the sleeves oh, up. Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Roll the sleeves up. Right, get it. We want our friend back. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas. <clears throat> get out of your boots. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let's, Let's get it. it boys. Ooh, my guns. Boom. Boom! Let's run these Boom! Ooh, look at me! Make them bleed! Keep going! 
Where my other gun at? Why the fuck do I have this? Oh, I didn't kill this gun. What other? Let's get it. I need you with me, John. I'm right behind you, bitch. Shut up. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. What happened? What was it? Come on. I knew it. They fit both. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would yes, she is. Why threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Deal. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. You gotta stop. You gotta stop that. Someone gonna recognize that Come name. On. Well, they should recognize that name, man. This is just stupid. How you not gonna recognize a, a a federal agent's name, man? All right, girl. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. Look at his sits on himself. Look at his sits on himself. Yes. Let's get it. Bad luck with bounties being stolen off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <clears throat> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Uh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's been <clears throat> a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. <clears throat> it's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. That's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Let's do it then, Fit. What are we doing here? Oh. What are we doing here? Let's go up. Okay. Alright. 
They must be camping down there. Excuse me. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Damn. And shoot well. Bitch, I like you and all, but you're literally talking to her. Let's get it. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. It, girl, you gotta, you gotta learn. You gotta learn to slow it down. You gotta learn to slow it down a little bit. I learned to slow down a little bit. Boom. Come on. Come on. Where? Come down. Right there, right there. Come on, slow it down. Ah. Come on. Right there. Run your ass, hold on. Run your ass. Run your ass. Point that. Slow it down. Oh. Say less. Wee. Come on now. Come on. You're a gangster, John. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she got shot. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. Boom. 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 Oh. Oh. Ooh. What kind of gun is that? Is that a mini? Is it a uh, some machine gun? What the fuck? Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on, reload. John, reload, bro. Come on. Who's on your health? Who's on your health? Alright. Come on, John. Reload. Door down. I'm pushing. Let's get it. In the boat. In the boat. No, he's not. I can't kill him. We're coming for you. you. We're coming for you. Where you at? Hey man, coach has bowl. Okay. Let's get it. You wanna die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. Alright, alright, amigo. I'm coming. We gotta wear that back here, bro. We're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! Oh, Ooh, damn! Cortez, can your ass whoop? Come on. 
Lay it down. You, you ain't about that. Are we done? That's we it. Might just be. Son of a bitch. Look at him floating. Look at him floating. Uh, well, that's that then. Chill out. I'm gonna rob you, I'm gonna rob you first, Cortez. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Huh? I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. All right, now bring your ass on the motherfucking horse. The horse is shitty. Ah. Let's give you another go, girl. All right. It's about time. She got back in rolls. Second time lucky. Took the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now we're gonna come for you. Can I punch him? I promise you that. I can't we're punch him. We're gonna come for you. Oh my well, God! Shut up. Know just where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. You made it. <coughs> Alright, Ramon. I think you're out of jail. To prison. Time to hang your ass. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since <coughs> this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> I got a feeling Thanks he don't fuck around. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple <clears throat> arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Did, did, that, did that say no vaccine? What the hell they mean by that? Alright, guys. That's it for episode 37. I shall see you at episode 38. Like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, and like. Okay. If you didn't, let me know in the comment section okay. so I can become a better content okay. creator. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye. Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? I need that, huh? I need that, okay. Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? I need that, okay. Okay, okay. Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? Where the drugs at? I need that. I need that, okay. Where the drugs at?